their partners. The non-aligned movement heads of state discussed ICT as a key issue towards addressing the challenges that need to be addressed for the effective implementation of the fourth industrial revolution. If issues of unemployment are to be resolved, the ICT National Guidance Minister Dr. Chris Mariomunsi appealed to the youth to prioritize ICT for employment. Why developed countries have made advances in using technology, here we have to move fast in order to integrate technology in whatever we do. And these are the kind of discussions that the heads of states are having in the NAM summit and the G77 to see how the developing world can embrace technology and bring on board most of these technologies which are coming up, artificial intelligence, internet of things, robotics, and all these emerging technologies, they must become part and parcel of our day-to-day -day life in order to have accelerated transformation. During the sixth graduation ceremony at the Uganda Institute of Information and Communication Technology, Bariomonsi told graduates that Uganda has set a digital transformation agenda towards addressing the gaps in line with what was discussed during the Non-Aligned Movement Summit. So in our situation, we have a population that is largely young. And what we advocate for is that we must do everything possible to harness the demographic dividend. How do we turn this huge population of young people into an asset, into an opportunity, rather than a burden? With the establishment of ICT institutions across the country, there is a surge in ICT-related innovations. We are now venturing into uh, advanced uh, emerging technologies uh, to ensure that uh, the country is ready for those technologies. Uh, the Uganda developed a fourth industrial revolution technologies uh, strategy. Uh, so that strategy is supposed to be implemented in different areas. But also we have a digital transformation strategy uh, for the country and one of the pillars is capacity building.